Okay, hi, my name is Ela. Um, I'm a graduate student at MIT Media Lab in the Effective Computing Group, which focuses on advancing human well being with new kinds of technology. Okay, so for our project, our team would like to customize a mobile game called The Guardians to help improve the mental health of Pittsburgh University campus workers. We want to focus on campus cleaning crews, janitors, and food service workers. This feels important because these groups tend to be the lowest paid on campus and sometimes don't receive adequate health benefits. I think this is a particularly meaningful time to do this work given the added stress of the COVID-19 pandemic and the role that these communities have played in keeping campuses safe and functioning. The Guardians is a unique game that prompts people to, to do beneficial actions in their real lives, which they are then rewarded for in the game. It embeds an evidence-based psychotherapy technique called behavioral activation, which has been shown to decrease depressive symptoms. This technique is really helpful, but typically people have a hard time sticking with it. Um, by in providing in-game rewards, the Guardians has been shown to massively increase long-term retention. Given its success so far, we feel it has the potential to support and potentially improve the mental health of campus workers who are struggling. We plan to modify the Guardian to add in-game prompts that ask users a few questions about how they felt before and after playing to measure long-term changes in mental health. After this, we'd like to advertise the game to all campus workers who have an iPhone or Android phone. As a note, this is definitely an area where I'd love to get support from community members on the call today. We'll then wait three to four weeks while people play the game, since that's how long it takes to complete one story. However, it's freely available, so people are more than welcome to continue playing after that. Lastly, we plan to analyze the game data to measure its success. One important measure will be how many campus workers try the game at least once, and another will be whether campus workers who do play the game actually feel better after doing so. This will give us important information on how to improve the game moving forward. In total, the project will cost $3,267, the majority of which is to modify the game itself. You might be wondering who is this team I keep referring to. Um, so I received my BA in psychology from the Uni University of Pennsylvania, and I have experience designing a variety of tech tools to improve mental health for and with marginalized communities. I plan to work closely with Craig Ferguson, who's been the leading software architect for the Effective Computing Group for eight years. Um, and I'll also collaborate with Rob Lewis, who's a PhD student at MIT Media Lab, who's currently running a study with the Guardians in another vulnerable population. And finally, this project will be under the mentorship of the Effective Computing Group's founder and director, Dr. Rosalind Picard, an award-winning MIT professor with decades of experience innovating new health technology solutions. I'm really excited about this opportunity to support important members of the Pittsburgh campus communities and potentially make them happy enough to dance just like our little guardian characters. So thank you and I look forward to hearing your questions. Well, thank you as well. Let's call to the stage our judges. And now do they need to dance when they come on the stage? That's my first, they do. Okay, all right. <laughs> Questions, please. Tim, I'll just jump in with a quick comment because what I'm, what I'm really thrilled to hear about this is that you've identified a white space. That's something we really like to do at Citroen 33. What population is perhaps not being addressed? So addressing the population of the healthcare, you know, I mean, the work, I'm sorry, the workers and the frontline workers, really happy to see that. And then the other thing that really is just chiming on what's really important is, is that you're going to actually analyze that data. You're going to come back and say what impact are you making, what's effective. And for all our contestants, that's what we ask of you to do. It's okay if it's not as impactful as maybe you thought it might be in some areas or not. You know, it, it's it's the lessons that we don't learn is that we really miss opportunities. So I um, I just think that's phenomenal. And I think when you're looking, I think where we may be able to plug in um, when we talk about partners we have is we have a great relationship with JED Campus, which is in over 400 campuses across the country and actually comes in and does exactly what you did. Looks at every single aspect of a college and what contributes to the mental well-being and the mental health. So I think we could even get your program in their consulting program, you know, because they so they teach the, the janitorial staff how to search for clues, how to search for things. So we'll make that connection among others, but really excited to see this come to fruition. And thank you for joining us from MIT. Thank you. And would love to get connected with that organization. It sounds really perfect. Thank you.
Um, hi, I'm Pendle, and I just want to know if this app is already up or not, because the icons look so cute and like I'm so excited for this to come out if it hasn't already. Yes, so it is out. You can download it. We have it for iPhone and Android. Um, and then we're also coming out with a new um, realm, which you can find very soon. So stay tuned for a new version, but there is a current version that is exciting. And that's what all of our research has been using so far. Awesome. It's so cute. Tell us about the name Guardians. You know, I will have to pull in someone else to answer that for you later because I um, don't know how it got the name The Guardians. I think really it's inspired by all of the great video games that exist and that whole like mythical, mystical world. Um, I think it's another way to make it engaging and fun. Well, and it's perfect. Guardian of mental health. Yeah. And for campus workers. Michelle, All right. find some money. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Cindy? I said Michelle with finding grants. I have two quick questions. Um, I like you have, oh, sorry. Oh, I was just going to say we are at time. So do we have any concerns about, did you, now, did you state your dollar amount? Did I miss that? Yeah, it was $3,267 because that's what is required to alter the game. Got it. Not being precise at all. <laughs> I can show you the spreadsheet. I, I, I've seen the spreadsheet and it's very well done. All right, judges, do we have any problems? Do we need to like knock a dollar off or anything? <laughs> all righty then. Yay, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Congratulations for winning the Innovation Award for your forward thinking on how to take your successful model and apply it to our Pittsburgh community. Your mentors for this project are Dr. Carla Chugani and Dr. Roslyn Picard. Dr. Charla, sorry, Dr. Carla Chugani is an assistant professor at the University of Pittsburgh. Dr. Chugani's newest research investigates DBT skills training delivered as a three credit undergraduate college course titled, titled Wellness and Resilience for College and Beyond. Professor Rosalind Picard is the founder and director of the Effective Computing Research Group at the MIT Media Lab and the founding faculty chair of MIT's Mind, Hand, and Heart Initiative. Congratulations.